Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexandra and today is a very fun and exciting makeover. I'm here at my friend Jamie's wellness studio. It's called Eastwood Wellness Co. She's been massaging me for a few years. She's amazing. I'm gonna leave all her links down below. She also has this awesome retail store with lots of local Canadian brands. But today we're working on her powder room. And I feel like Jamie's style is like neutral, but like calm and serene. And there's just such a good energy in this space when you first walk in. But Jamie really wants the powder room to be fun and bright. And that's what we're doing today. I'm so excited. So let's get started. the owner of Eastwood Wellness Company in Toronto. We're a massage therapy studio, and we also have an awesome selection of self-care goods that are all made in Canada. So we opened February 1st, and we're open for six weeks before we had to shut down due to COVID. The space has like a super calm and serene energy around it, and the bathroom is the only space that we haven't touched yet. It's super basic, just all white, and we would love to have fun with it. Before we get started, I want to give a huge shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video and making this makeover happen. I'm so happy that I got to do this for Jamie. She's finally getting to open up her store and she's an entrepreneur. She's a small, she's a small business. So giving back in this way is going to be really exciting. It's going to look so good. So even though Jamie's wellness studio is very minimal, you walk in, it's super relaxed right away. She wanted something completely different for the bathroom. She wanted lots of color pattern. She sent me pictures of tropical wallpaper and I was really excited because you guys know I love color. I love pattern. So here is what I'm thinking for the design plan. This tropical wallpaper from a company called Feather. They sell awesome wallpaper. It's not peel and stick, so we're going to have to paste this on the wall. I'm also thinking some sort of globe light. I want something a little more stylish and bold. I'm also considering changing her mirror to something gold with an interesting shape. That's my design plan. Let's head into the makeover day. So first things first, we are going to wallpaper this bathroom. Because it's such a small space, I wanted to pick a pattern that was really fun and tropical and pink, possibly. Yeah, it's just gonna make this bathroom pop and have so much personality. Now this is pasted wallpaper, so it's gonna take us a while, I think, to figure it out. But Danny Berger is here to help. Lynn, are you ready? I'm so ready. Okay, so the first thing you want to do when you're hanging panels like this is measure from the ceiling to where the wallpaper is going to end. So for us, that's exactly 55 inches, but we're going to do like three extra inches. So I'm going to bring the measuring tape over to my panels, measure at 58 inches, and then cut it off at the bottom. Then we can start actually hanging them once they're all cut to size. It's time to hang the first panel. So basically we're just using wallpaper paste. You can get this at any hardware store. And we're gonna be rolling it on just as you would paint. And then we're gonna hang the first panel. Chico is on a shoot today. So unfortunately I have to call Danny. <laughs> Danny is a busy lady. So thank you for coming. Literally the worst. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's, let's do this. <laughs> Hanging wallpaper with paste might seem intimidating, but you can move it around. It has a little more give to it, and so it's more forgiving, I find, than peel and stick wallpaper. Chico always taught me to use way more paste than you think you need on your wall. And then once the paper is in place, you want to use a dry brush. Now, this is so important. You don't want this brush to have any paste on it whatsoever because this is going to smooth out all of those air bubbles and just make the paper stick to the wall. Time to exact to the bottom. Exactly. It's called a utility knife. Let's not use brands. A little straight edge action. Okay, don't screw it up. Stop. Yeah. Just go right into the corner. Stay tight. You're doing great. Stop leaping, fairies. 
I've spent very little time with people in the last two days. <laughs> Wowie! Let's see this piece of art. Wow! Right? Only 16 more panels to go. <laughs> Got this. <laughs> On to the next one. Friends do wallpaper together, stay together. Okay guys, I want to show you how it's looking. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, it looks incredible. A good tip for you guys is when you're hanging wallpaper, you never want to line it up to the top of the wall where this wall meets the ceiling because often the ceiling is not straight or your wall isn't straight. So what I've been told is to make sure the wallpaper is straight and level on the wall and then just fill in the gaps at the top with a paint color that matches the wallpaper. So we took a piece of the wallpaper, took it to the hardware store, had it color matched, and got a sample sized pot. And now I'm just gonna go in with a really fine tip brush and just fill in any of those little cracks, basically. It's like my dream bathroom. I wanna get ready in here every single day. It just means that whenever I come to Jamie for a massage appointment, I'll just sit in her bathroom for a while. Before we jump into the rest of the makeover, I wanted to talk about today's sponsor, Squarespace. I have worked with them so many times and that is because I am a Squarespace user myself and I love how easy and accessible the platform is for new business owners. One of the reasons I admire Jamie so much is because she started this wellness studio completely from scratch and I just have so much admiration for the way she's persevered through this really tough time. I think Jamie is such a good example of someone who has taken a risk and proven that it's possible even when you know the worst possible thing like a global pandemic could happen and that's where this week's sponsor Squarespace comes in if you guys are thinking of starting a business from the ground up just like Jamie has I would highly recommend using Squarespace as a platform for your website so if you're looking to start a blog or maybe an e-commerce business, Squarespace is the one-stop shop that makes it all happen and come to life. The one thing I love about Squarespace is that I can have my merch, I can have my favorite products on Amazon, I can have a link to my newsletter. It's all in one place. By the way, if you haven't signed up for my newsletter, please do so. Another thing I love about Squarespace is that you can look at analytics. So you can see what blog post is performing well or which email campaign was opened the most. So it really allows you to see what's working for your business or what's not. I hope that Jamie's story has given you guys some of your own inspiration. I think it's proof that you know you can start something from scratch the worst thing could happen to your business and you could still come out on the other side doing what you love every single day if you're looking to start your own business or start your own blog go to squarespace.com slash alexandra gator or use code alexandra gator to get 10 percent off your first website or domain so Next thing I'm going to change is the overhead light. I found this at Mitzi. I feel like I've used their lights quite a bit in the last few videos, but I love them so much. And this is a ceiling light, and I find that beautiful ceiling lights can sometimes be hard to find, but this one is black, it has these globes on it, and it's just perfect for this space. It's perfect. It's perfect. The black against the pink looks amazing. So now it is time to hang a new mirror. The one Jamie had before was great, but we wanted to add a touch of gold in here. So we found this beautiful mirror at Zara Home. I will link all the products down below. I'm gonna go ahead and hang this now. You guys, I'm freaking out. This mirror looks so, so good. I love the shape of it. It has like a vintage vibe to it. It just goes so well with this wallpaper and the light. And now it's time to add another really fun light just above the toilet. So Jamie had mentioned that she really wants a neon sign that says something cute or inspirational. So it says good vibes only. 
and it's pink and I this is just this makeover just keeps getting better and better this is a battery powered neon light and I just fed the cable behind the toilet and then the battery pack just sits on the floor like that it's great because there's no outlet over here obviously I feel like I'm in a cool restaurant bathroom I have this decal that I have in my bathroom and I have it on my mirror and I just think it's so fun and Jamie's business is all about empowering everyone but specifically women and I just think this is I don't know it's just an empowering quote to have on a mirror so I'm gonna try it I'm a little bit worried it's gonna be too many words because we have the neon sign as well but I can always take it off of it if it doesn't work so let's try it I am so glad that we went with that decal. It's so cute and perfect for this space. So now I'm just gonna add the finishing touches and then it's gonna be time to reveal the space to Jamie. you guys we're done Jamie's here and it's time to reveal the space I'm so excited this is probably one of my most favorite makeovers that I've done in a very long time it's just so fun and basically my dream bathroom so obviously I can't be in the room with Jamie to reveal it to her but I am gonna be standing just outside of it I'm gonna be able to see her reaction just from just from afar Okay, I want you to picture what your bathroom looked like before. <laughs> Very stark white, not a ton of personality. Just like your basic bathroom. Okay, are you ready? On the count of three, I want you to open the door. One, two, three. Oh my God. So amazing! Like I'm, I'm speechless. Like I feel like I'm gonna get emotional. Like what? It's a bathroom. <laughs> it's amazing! It's amazing! Oh my god! So we got you a new basket to put all the dirty hand towels. Amazing! That mirror is a dream. It's so beautiful. The decal, which I thought was very like, oh my god! You know, positive affirmation. <laughs> oh, the good vibes only. This is like. Such a dreamy bathroom. Also, why does it look bigger? I love that like pink glow. Oh my god. I just want to like be in here. I'm blown away. I love it all. Thank you. Thank you. So Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I am so thrilled with how happy Jamie is with this bathroom. This was such a fun project. I think because I knew that I could not do this in a residential space, this was meant for like a restaurant or a commercial space. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite part of this makeover was. Was it the wallpaper? Was it the neon sign? And thank you again to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. If you guys are looking to start your own small business, your website, a blog, head to squarespace.com, use my code, sign up for that free trial and get 10% off. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye!